What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back to our second video. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the Is It Phoenix deck. Uh, this one is... I don't know. I think it's got some some work that needs to be done, uh, if I'm honest. I do think it's quite good, and I am really, really excited for this deck as an archetype. I think there's going to be a lot of playing around with this deck uh, over the coming weeks, which is awesome. I, I love that we get to revisit some, some archetypes that, in recent standard history at least, hasn't really done as well as it, it, it did in its original uh, form. Uh, and so I'm really excited to see how this goes uh, in the in the long term. Wow, this is a, a hand. Um, ugh, do we? I think we keep this solely because we have so many discard outlets for this. But this is a, it's a hand. Let me tell you. Um, <laughs> we got every two drop in the book. Um, so I, I I do like this archetype. Like I said, I think there's a lot of opportunity for this long term. Uh, where it ends up, I I don't know. Uh, I certainly think it's got a long way to go in this form. Um, I think, uh, especially against like an archetype like this, like we're just gonna probably lose very, very quickly because there's not much we can really do. Um, now we do have shocks and things like that that uh, occasionally deal with stuff, but generally speaking, it's not uh, the strongest of uh, options. I think we got a shock here. Um, I really hate to do this, but uh, we got to get that thing taken care of before it gets fur further along. And now here, like we're missing land drop. Unfortunately, this is this might have been a bad keep, but uh, I I do I do really really want to see this deck do well. And maybe it's just that this version is trying too much at once because I am trying a lot of different cards. Ominous Seas is certainly one that could or could not make the final cut. Uh, there's uh, options even like uh, the the Sprite Dragon here may not be the best option. Um, I don't know, but it certainly doesn't you know. Uh, you know, it's in this in this matchup, for instance, it's really not doing a ton because I mean it's just going to either chump one of these or hit a burn spell, uh, and unfortunately that's just the way it goes. Um, here, I unfortunately think we don't block, and I believe they just took a land off top. Yeah. Um, ugh. Yep. 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 Uh. Discard the two phoenixes. Unfortunately, we did really have a bad luck with the, have some bad luck. Wow, with lands. Um, yeah, I'm just we're we're gonna go ahead and concede there. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do without lands. Uh, so that was kind of a bad draw. Potentially just a bad keep in general. Probably shouldn't have kept that, but uh, that's okay. Uh, the good thing about this deck is it doesn't need a ton of lands to really function. It just needs about three or four. Um, and unfortunately, we only had two. So. Uh, I've got another deck in the works right now, actually, that I'm really stoked about. I can't decide if I want to do it for one of these videos, though, or for the JDC. Uh, if you don't know what the JDC is, Will, uh, my partner in crime, uh, does the podcast with me and all that stuff. Uh, we, we kind of put together, this is an interesting hand, too. I'm going to keep this. Um, we put together a little competition, uh, and the competition is solely to find who can build the the most janky deck uh and in fact we kind of set ourselves a new goal uh this past or this first episode which is to kind of try and break uh mtgo uh and i don't know how likely that is to happen but i am kind of excited to try uh so we are going to give it a shot we're going to see if we can can break it i've got a deck for that maybe next time uh but i also have the opportunity of playing a couple of other things so i'm I'm interested to see. Uh, I just don't know what I want to what I want to do yet. I've got options, is all I will say. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna pass here with the neutralize. Okay. Uh, this is the gate stack, right? Yeah. Okay. Stack is pretty potent. I'm gonna neutralize to fairy. Get that out of there, and get a counter. All right, let's get Temple down. 
I'm actually going to bottom that. We've got pretty much all the land that we, we do need. Um, go ahead and swing in. And we'll play this out here. Um, diversification of threats. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we do have a couple of options, though, for that that uh, second episode. And maybe I'll just hold both of them off for the... Uh, for the JDC competition. I don't know though. They're they're really fun, so. Uh okay. We just don't have we're not getting our ways to to fill the yard, unfortunately. Um let's go ahead and play this out there. I'm gonna go ahead and opt here as well. Uh if nothing else it gets us a counter. I'm gonna put that on the bottom. We we're really looking for wow. Drawing all the Phoenixes. Um Let's get temple. Put that on the bottom. Uh, do I just want to shock this? I think I kind of do. I don't think there's very many options for us to shock uh, on, or many creatures for us to shock on their side. I might be wrong. Very easily could be. Um, but I think we're just on the damage plan right now. So let's go for it. Um. If we can get like a cathartic reunion, we do have the option of, you know, ditching some phoenixes, hopefully being able to dig ourselves into some more stuff and then um, swinging for, for quite a lot of damage. Um, unfortunately, that is not it. So I'm just, I'm on the damage plan. Let's go for it. Uh, this is definitely, the ominous uh, seize here, definitely not the, the plan that we need to take. I think this is the route. Cool. So we got it. Uh, that was an interesting turn. We could have very easily played the Ominous Seas, but I don't think that would have been the right play. That's such a long-term plan, uh, unless you get it out very, very early, and you've got a lot of those cathartic reunions, that kind of thing. Um, hey, let's really quick, let's go open this pack. Let's see what we get. All right, what's our rare? Gem Razor. Uh, I don't even know that I've seen this card. 4-4 four, four for 3 and a green. Reach, trample, mutate for 1 and 2 green. When it mutates, destroy target or oh, That's pretty cool. A um, little bit of a tech card. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into our last game with this Is It Phoenix deck. And again, uh, somebody... Uh, if you do have suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below for this list. If you've created your own list, share it with us. We'd love to actually play that. Uh, somebody did suggest a fling in this deck, and I do believe that works in some some combination with Ominous Seas and Invade the City uh, fairly well. But uh, I don't know I don't know if this is the right deck for it solely because I don't think it's an insta win in this deck. Uh, it's quite good, but I don't think it's it's the insta win that we're looking for. I think we need lands, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bottom that. Uh, and here I am kind of on the ominous seas plan, I believe. So I'm going to drop that down. Uh, solely because we have the cathartic reunion, by the way. We could have played the, the sprite dragon. Don't think we needed to. It looks like we're up against either Azorius control or the flyers deck. Oh, wow. Ominous seas. Cool. Okay. Well, we didn't get the land, but we do have options here. So let's do this. We're going to ditch Arclight, Phoenix, and Shock. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm not expecting they're going to have a lot of creatures. Wow, seriously, we are just not drawing lands. I know we trim back, but dang. Um, would have expected at least one in a cathartic reunion. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, though, this is a fun deck, but I just don't think it's this is the right iteration, uh, is what I will say. Let's go ahead and get this out there. Uh, my expectation is they've got like a quench, maybe. Ah, Mystical Dispute does this exact same thing. That makes sense. Uh, good news here, we do have a faster Ominous Seas, at least at the moment. Um, certainly that can change in no time. Um, it's a very, ah, Bouncing Ominous Seas, I'm sure. So what's our hope? Uh, we get a land so we can shock to fairy, and then, oh, man, we're having bad luck with these lands, guys. Um, okay, let's do this, ditching this. Uh, 
Oh man, that feels so bad. So bad. We just need lands, guys. Bad luck this time around. Um, that's okay. I mean, you can't win them all. Uh, and certainly with a deck like this where we're we're testing a lot of things, I certainly didn't expect to win a lot. Um, maybe this is better in an uh, in a shell like theirs where it's a much more of a control shell. Um, I'm gonna put this out here and then I'm gonna shock to fairy. Ah, sorry guys, I was working outside a little bit today and I got very, very parched. Very parched. Ah, all right. Um, also, I was talking about the JDC a little bit. Please go watch that first episode. It was so fun. Uh, one thing I learned uh, in creating a magic YouTube channel over the last few years uh, is... Wow, it's, all, it's been three years. Uh, is that... It's fun to, to have a YouTube channel about magic, but you you kind of lose track of being able to play magic a little bit. Uh, and so Will and I in particular have, have tried to set a course for getting a little bit more back into just playing some magic, having a little bit of fun. Uh, and that's our way of doing it. Uh, it's it's a great way to do it because the, the focus isn't really on winning. Uh, the focus is much more on just having a good time and doing some silly stuff, which we certainly do. So, uh, man, God. uh, guys, this is bad, bad, sad, bad. Um, like, may yeah, we play it, but like, I mean, we can try and draw some stuff, but like, we're about to get hit with an eight, eight guys. Like, all right, I'm, I'm calling it. That was bad, guys. We just had such bad luck with the lands there, unfortunately. This has been a pretty quick video, but, um, you know, we'll give it we'll give it one more. We've only been recording for, like, 12 minutes. Let's give it one more. See if we can get a better draw this time. Normally, I don't like to push to four games just because I, I try and keep it pretty short. Uh, that way, it's a little bit more digestible via YouTube's algorithm, but uh, I will, we'll go for it this time. Uh, the two of these games have been very, very quick. Um, okay. Okay. See, now, this is a little land heavy, but we got the lands we need. I'm cool with that. Um, okay, yes, we are keeping. We're going to see if we can do this. Taken one mulligan. Cool. Put him down a card. Make it easier. Um, trying to think what we do first. I think we just play the sprite dragon first. Um, sorry, Dorat. I absolutely love these like alternate art versions of these uh, cards. They're so cute. This one in particular is very cute. Uh, a lot of them are actually just really bad, eh? But, uh... Always be polite, guys. They said hello. Let's let's say hello back. Uh, hopefully, also... I, I completely forgot about this. Uh, they announced... Well, and they released... Um, actual player drafts on arena now i haven't actually played in them yet uh we do have a ticket to do that so please i mean let me know if you guys want to see it um i don't know Acoria well enough i felt like i i shouldn't draft it quite yet uh i need to do a little bit more research on the cards uh before i go into a draft for sure but uh it is a very nice set and i i'm excited to draft it so if you're interested in seeing that, we can certainly try it. If you guys have tried it, please let me know your thoughts. Do you like that better than the bot drafts? Because uh, I know the bot drafts can kind of predict what they're going to take a lot of the time. Um, and I know they've they've had to patch multiple times because they've been able to... Uh, I mean, players are able to kind of figure out, okay, well, they're going to take this, so I'll, uh, I'll go with this. But uh, if you do have an opinion on the player drafts, let me know. I'd be interested to to maybe try and record some gameplay with that. Um, 
opponent playing a, bl- a bit slow, but that's okay. They, they're we're we're in new card territory here, guys. So <clears throat> I fully expect that everybody is kind of testing stuff at the moment. Uh, so we're gonna see a lot more variety, which is good. Always love to see that. Okay. Uh, it looks like they actually just timed out, but that's okay. Uh, probably shouldn't have played that first, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to ditch the mountain here as well as the phoenix. Get that counter on. Yeah, I would have liked to have played Fabled Passage probably, but that's okay. Smash for two, and we will pass. Leaving up shock. See what they can do. Um, would really like to draw some non-lands this time. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> it's funny how this works. I mean, that's part of the game. You can't you can't do anything about it, but uh, it does suck. Sometimes you draw no lands, as we have the last few games, and then sometimes you draw all the lands, like we are this game. <laughs> um, it'd be great to get a few more kind of instant sorcery style cards. Now, I guess next turn we can bring back a phoenix, but we'd like to get more than one in the graveyard to do that. Um, we can count it up, though. We might be able to deal a pretty good substantial chunk of damage. So if they just do nothing, uh, we play Fable Passage. We crack Fable Passage for Mountain. Uh, we Cathartic Reunion, <clears throat> ditching Island and the other Fable Passage, leaving two shocks in hand. Now that will trigger this. So we're going to get a counter here. Uh, that's going to be three. Then we have two more Mountains left over, so we can double shock the opponent. Um... That's four damage. That's two more counters on here, so that goes up to five damage, and we get Arclight Phoenix back, which is another three. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's a good chunk of damage. Um, I think that would actually do it, right? Not to mention, we don't know what we're gonna draw off of the Cathartic Reunion, so there's a possibility you know, we can do something else. Um, oh, freezing up a little bit here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Uh, okay. Cathartic reunion. We're going to ditch that and that, actually. Okay. That gets the, Yeah, I mean, that's worth a shot, right? I'm not doing a whole lot of counting technically. This isn't going to kill them, I don't believe, but it's going to get close. It's going to put them in a position where they really have to do something. Uh, and we also do have a, a little 1-1 one, one haster along with a way to get it into a 2-2 two, two next turn. So even if they deal with the sprite dragon, um, we do have a way to deal with, yeah, like we still have a way to win uh, with our current card setup. Now it looks like our opponent here is just kind of timing out. Uh, which sucks. I always hate when that happens. I don't know if it's intentional or not. I, n I don't try and assume because um, that's not fair. Uh, but I always hate when this happens because, one, it just kind of prolongs the game for no reason. Please don't ever do that on purpose. But also, if you actually just disconnected, then certainly I feel for you. That's not your fault. Um, and hopefully you can get back into the game before it, it you know drops you out. But uh, not always so lucky. I understand that. Um, it's like another timeout. Yep. All right. So I think we were in a winning position no matter what, but uh, definitely, certainly feel bad if they did timeout. But hey, we got another win with this deck. That was fun. Uh, I think that hand was a much better skew. Even I, I think you got to keep more lands than non lands uh, in that instance. And, uh, that obviously worked out for us. I think given some more time on the opponent's side, if if they did actually just disconnect there, um, it may have been that, you know, they had a good hand, they could have dealt with everything, and I, I just don't know. Uh, but either way, this has been a really fun deck. Uh, if you're interested in the Is It Phoenix deck, again, my list is down below. Uh, we also go over the deck in whole in the video one of this, this uh, gameplay, so please do check that one out so I can kind of talk you through why I'm playing what I'm playing. Uh, if you have a better list, uh, or you just have a different list that you'd like us to play on camera, I'd love to, uh, send us a list, send us a link. We'd be happy to do it. Really do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please check out our Patreon, our Instagram, as well as our website. 
uh, it resolves mtg.com. We would certainly appreciate it, and any and all support is is really awesome. So thank you guys very, very much. Uh, I will see you in the next gameplay video.